Hey everyone. Um, I have something new to share with you. Remember that recipe for sweet green tomato pie? Before you get grossed out, the people that haven't heard about that one, it's made like apple pie, except you substitute the apples for uh, tomatoes. And at first I thought it was just green tomatoes, but I come to find out in my search for green tomatoes that they're hard for me to come by because I can't drive and they're only around for a certain season unless you have them in your garden and can f find them easily if you live in the south probably. But where I've um, lived it was harder to find for the majority of my life since the first time I tried it. A lady brought it to a, um, a ladies meeting for a church group. We all brought something to share to eat. And she brought um, sweet tomato pie, but she didn't tell us at first. It was made out of tomato, she said. Try it first, and then I'll tell you what it's made with, or what it is. And we all loved it. And then she told us it's made of, uh, with green tomatoes. And I've wanted another pie like it ever since. And I'm not a baker, so I just could, couldn't or didn't try to bake it myself. And... Other people have said through the years, if you can find the green tomatoes, I'll make it, I'll make you one, but I never got around. I kept looking online and stuff, then I gave up, like to have it shipped to me, like nobody would make it special online, and I couldn't find it in stores, already made, or in a bake shop or anything. So, I asked a friend here locally, 30 years after I had my first taste of sweet tomato pie, um, if she'd please make, bake me one because she knows how to bake. And she said, I would if you find the, the green tomatoes. Um, and again, I tried, and then I... I kind of gave up looking for green tomatoes, and I thought, well, let's try regular tomatoes of any color, because they don't seem to have a different flavor to me, so let's give it a shot, because there are red apples, and there are yellow apples, and there's not just green apples out there, and I like the tomato, because I don't like crunchy apple pie, and there's no crunch in a tomato unless you put crunch in a recipe, so it's already starting out smooth, a smooth food, so that's a win in my column, because I, I don't enjoy crunchy apples in a pie, and I don't really like apples all that much anyway, I have to be in the mood for apples. And then my favorite apple, when I am in the mood for apples, is old and delicious. Well, anyway, I asked somebody locally, after that first lady that I asked locally, when I, once I got tired of looking for green tomato, um, just try any, any color of tomato, but not tomatillos. They're totally different. But I'm at the point where I'd, I'd try any color of tomato. Just make it like you'd make it an apple pie. And, uh, but substitute tomatoes for it. Whatever color, whatever size. Well, I haven't made whatever size yet, but I'm going to work towards that so I can get the look of heirloom tomatoes, which are all different colors of tomato in one batch of tomatoes.
I want to try that in the future. I haven't tried it yet, but I can't imagine it not tasting as good as the regular size beefsteak sized tomatoes. And I prefer chopped up tomatoes to sliced because it just looks more authentically apple like. So, um, or original ingredient like because it's supposed to be apples but we're substituting tomatoes. But either way, the lady that made me the pie sliced them, but it tastes just as good. If you put enough sugar, and she did, you put in two-thirds cup of sugar, and it was a pretty, it was a six-slice pie for two-and-a-third cup of sugar. You gotta put enough sugar in to make the, um, Tomatoes taste like soft apples, so beware of that. And I don't really, I can't really judge the size of pies. So I'm not a baker, and I, and she baked it at her house. I gave her money for ingredients, and as a thank you also for making it, whatever's left after ingredients for two pies, two pies because I wanted to give her a gift pie. She'd make it, but of course, um, I wanted to give her money to have it be enough for two pies so she could have one. And um, I told her to please try a bite because you won't regret it. I didn't think I would like a pie with tomatoes, but it turns out I loved it and was searching for it for 30 years again to have it again. And so give it a try, but she didn't have... Um, it entered to, it turned her stomach to think about it being a tomato, tomatoes in the pie. But don't let that stop you. You got enough sugar. It really does taste like soft apple pie. And if you cut the tomatoes correctly, it will look like, um, uh, well, the sliced ones are all right, but they don't look like traditional apple pie slices. So I w I'd like it to be more in them, more diced than in the rounds, unless they're smaller to tomatoes and would look okay whole or diced, but just not round again because I want it to look more like apples. Um, and I don't really like, well, if the apples were smooth, I'd like apple pie, but I don't usually like apple pie because they're usually crunchy apples in the pie. They don't cook all the way. And since I don't really like apples all that much to begin with, and I only like them when I'm craving them, which isn't very often, I'd rather have Simply apple juice, you know, the pressed kind of juice, the cloudy, um, cloudy brown kind of juice. Um, that's my favorite way to have apples is in, um, pressed juice. And it's cloudy brown. Um, and thicker a little bit. Anyway, you won't, well, if you like apple pie and you like tomatoes and you're not allergic, um, try this and I, I'm pretty sure you're going to love it and want it again. And if you want to hide the fact that they're tomatoes, make sure you put whipped cream over the slice of pie, um, or ice cream, whatever, to cover the top. But if you want to hide the fact that it's tomatoes until they take a bite. Um, but you got to make sure any, any participant, of course, in trying it would know that it's tomatoes. If they're allergic to tomatoes. Or anything in a traditional apple pie that wouldn't be the non-traditional tomato. So they won't come to harm. 
So, but everybody knows that. But I just wanted to put that out there. Since I brought it up. I'm going to go full circle with the, um, talking about it. Okay. And then another thing, since I've been gone so long, this happened since the last time that I, uh, uploaded something, and it happened, like, oh, I'd say now two weeks ago, at least. Um, I like the movie Jaws, and Jaws 2. Jaws 3 and 4, I watched them, but I don't really want to watch them again because they weren't as good to me as, um, Jaws 1 and 2, the ones with, um, um, Roy Scheider, Richard Dreyfuss, Robert Shaw, and then another one with um, Roy Scheider. And um, this one I'm talking about now is um, Jaws 2, the youngest son of Chief Brody in that one. He, he, he recently died of an a brain tumor, and he fought the battle for eight years, and it took him about two weeks ago, so since I enjoyed that movie, I just wanted to mention that, and it's really sad, and I feel bad for people that have to go through the cancel, the cancer, oh battles, and some of them don't make it, and that's really, that's doubly sad, um, I hope he was saved before he died, meaning he took Jesus as his first time, oh, sorry about the movement of the, uh, the video, but my computer's on a tray that slides around on a slippery floor. Um, sometimes. Well, anyway, I hope he was saved before he died. So, so that, um, that means I hope he took Jesus as his personal savior and took him up on his, um, free gift of salvation. And, uh, took him as his personal savior before he died. Because if he did, he's in heaven. And in no more pain. Um, so. Okay. Well, that's pretty much all I have for this one. I hope it won't take um, so long before I can share something else with you. But I've explained over and over why the videos are few and far between these these days, but thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I see that nobody's leaving, and I'm very appreciative and thankful for that. Thank you for staying put and just waiting for me and understanding the reasons why. Um, take care, everyone. Thank you so much for being there, for being so kind and understanding. Alrighty, I'll see you sometime, hopefully soon.